Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are back out here on Silver Ridge Peaks. This is day two of the brand new update, and we did manage to get some cool stuff on day one. We'll take a look at that later in the video, but I thought first of all, let's go out and try to find ourselves a good Rocky Mountain Elk, as they are so incredible now with their brand new knee zones. One of my favorite changes with Silver Ridge Peaks is the locations of Rocky Mountain Elk. So we're going to try and find some good ones in multiplayer today, and then we will take a look at the stuff that we found yesterday. But of course, before we get into failed to synchronize. Yeah. Now, as I was going to say before I got rudely interrupted by that failed to synchronize error, before we get into the actual hunting, I would like to get kicked from the server. Yep, that's that was that was it. Yep. Well, I suppose the third time's the charm, so Let's attempt to get through this sentence again. Uh, before we get any further in the video, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you are most interested in for the SRP rework because I'm going to do a video on this within the next couple days and I'd like to know what points you guys would like me to cover about this rework because there was a lot of stuff that was changed and there's definitely some stuff that I didn't even know about, so if you guys know about some stuff that you haven't seen many people talking about, be sure to leave that in the comments as well. I want to make this video as uh, thorough as I can whenever I put it out, so I would love to hear what you guys have found, and also let me know the topics that you would like covered most relating to the SRP rework. Oh my gosh, that's a piebald pronghorn! Well, I suppose we got something else that we should take down now. If I can maybe get this with the Glock, I will, because I don't really care if I get full score on this. I just want to get a hit into it with the Glock. But it's looking like it's going to get away, so we're probably going to have to chase this guy down and try to take it as it walks back to its zone, which honestly will give us an even better chance of taking it with the Glock. But that's really cool, finding a piebald pronghorn. I can't recall seeing any of these recently, so this is actually a very nice surprise, especially since pronghorn drink much later than they used to now. Oh my gosh, they are right here. 30 meters away from us. I don't know where our piebald is, but that's one of them right there, which means the others can't be too much further away. There it is. There he is. Our piebald is a little bit closer than I thought he would be, but this should give us the shot we need. The Glock is a powerhouse, so I couldn't see that having any issue getting in there. And let's get one more while we're here. Might as well since it gave us the opportunity. And we definitely did get a vital hit on that beautiful pronghorn. Let's go take a look at it. I'm going to assume it was probably a single lung hit, but still took it down in no time at all. And I believe it died relatively close to that other one. Yeah, they did. So, let's go ahead and claim the piebald. I remember a time when these were not rare. But nowadays, they actually are very difficult to find. They're just as rare as getting an albino or a leucistic. But there was a time in Call of the Wild where you saw these things pretty much everywhere. And they weren't really that special. And because of that, even though they're rare now, people don't even notice it. But... We still got ourselves a pretty cool little trophy here, and I'm definitely happy that we're off to a decent start, especially after all those uh, synchronization and getting kicked and stuff like that. We finally had something turn around for us. And here's that little female pronghorn we took on the run. We... Wow! Okay, so we did actually end up getting double lung with the first shot. The second shot ended up getting middle neck, so that's why it dropped so fast. Honestly, that's not too bad. That is not too bad for running shots, you know? I'll take it. Wow, so the feed zones for pronghorn and bison are actually pretty insane now down in this, like, starting area. There is tons of bison, tons of pronghorn, all feeding in just this small little area here, uh, down by this outpost that a lot of us already love and know about. It seems like they've made this a little bit better than it was before. A lot of these feed zones are in very accessible locations, and that is a pretty good looking Plains Bison as well. If only one of the new handguns could take a Plains Bison, I would totally take it down, but we're trying to stick to just the new handguns unless we find ourselves a crazy elk. Ah, eh, who am I kidding? Of course you guys want to see a Bison attack me after I shoot it with a Glock. Let's go ahead and just drop a shot into it. That should get it angry. 
and it should run towards us now or not I I think I might actually have to hit vitals for them to do that well that that didn't go the way I expected it to so I, I guess we're gonna continue hunting oh my gosh there we go we got a level 5 rocky elk that is amazing and exactly what I was wanting to see now unfortunately since these are class 8 I have to take this with the 300 or the 308 I'm not able to take it with one of the handguns which is unfortunate but honestly I don't even care we found ourselves a level 5 rocky elk and we are still in multiplayer so hopefully we can get this down before somebody else notices that we've got it though it does seem that everybody is down in this area so we should be okay I don't think we got to worry about anybody noticing that we've got this thing so we shouldn't get kicked or anything weird like that let's go ahead and get a shot into this guy and bring him down what a beautiful looking elk I could be wrong but I think that is one of the bigger racks if I'm not mistaken it's kind of difficult to tell until I'm up close and can actually see those back tines a little bit better but it looked pretty large I think this guy is gonna make diamond and there he is laying in the tree it's unfortunate that he did die right here because now we can't really see the antlers that well but uh, I suppose we'll just pick him up and that'll tell us if he's a diamond or not please let this one be a diamond it's a diamond at 492 that is amazing definitely not as big as I thought it was but still it's a diamond regardless and that is super awesome it's been a bit since we've had a diamond rocky from what I can remember I think the last time we had a diamond rocky elk was when I was doing the grind for an albino one and even then most of them were trolls so the fact that this guy even made it is amazing and he'll probably end up going in one of our secondary lodges I'm just so happy that the Rocky Elk drink time is much longer than it used to be it really makes it more enjoyable to hunt for these guys and I can totally see myself going for another albino just because of how good they made the elk uh, one of the changes that they made to SRP that I'm very very happy about and and we will cover that in the video that I plan to put out in a couple days about the SRP rework uh, but yeah like I was saying earlier let me know what other things you guys would like to see me cover about the rework in the video because there's definitely going to be a lot of things that I could cover in it and I'm curious what are the priorities so like I said earlier be sure to let me know but that is super awesome what a beautiful elk and I think on that note let's go ahead and take a look at the stuff that I ended up finding yesterday during the time before my live stream well it seems like we have spotted our very first max level animal after the assorted uh, sidearms pack has been released this is the first day of it being fully released to everybody and uh, because of that all progress from early access that I had is going to be reset back to where it was before I jumped on the early access build and so we're starting off with some multiplayer hopping before I actually get onto my main map and uh, start to re move around my tents and set them up but we did just manage to spot a level 5 mule deer though it is not exactly the most guaranteed diamond in the world as this rack only makes it on rare occasions it's at least a chance at getting ourselves a diamond and of course I gotta do it with one of the new handguns so let's try to get up to it and if we can we'll take it with the Glock but provided we're not able to get close enough then we will use the 243 okay so yeah this is gonna be a problem it seems like the wind is really not in our favor here so I think we're gonna try and take it down from a decently long distance with the 243 as I really don't want to risk spooking it there is just everything working against us that we could possibly have working against us we need to back up even because this is uh, not gonna work out if we continue to move up on it with that wind blowing in that direction this is just a recipe for disaster and that is our guy right there let's see if we can get this one from about 200 meters away I think we can totally make this in fact we can probably get a single lung shot here let's just check the distance real quickly he's about 203 away this is going to be perfect and in fact he's moving into an even better spot now let's just drop that guy down that should be a good hit I couldn't imagine that not being at least into a one lung so we're gonna hope for the best but it looked like it was probably a lung hit and honestly something that I've been kind of noticing that really might not be anything too major but it definitely seems like it could be a possibility is it, it seems like there's less of a spook radius with the 243 handgun I just shot that mule deer from around 200 meters and 
A few of the ones that were next to him did not spook off. Of course, the ones that were standing right next to him did, but then there was a few that were maybe 30 or 40 feet to the left or the right that didn't actually spook off until I started running up to them. And that's definitely an interesting thing that I'm going to try and keep track of in the future, because I do think there's a chance that this has a lower spook radius, which would be pretty useful. Well, here we go, our first chance at a diamond with one of the new handguns. I don't think this guy will make it. It's got a very low chance of actually making diamonds, so... Most likely, this one will not be our first diamond, but there's always that small chance that it could be. And if we could get this rack to actually make it, that would be incredible. So let's see. Is it a diamond? It's a gold at 300.99. I kind of figured it wouldn't make it, but you know, at least we got to take down a max level with the brand new 243 handgun. Well, after hunting a little bit more today, we did finally come across another max level. And unfortunately, it's not an elk as it may have seemed at first since they were the first thing I looked at after I said that, but uh, no, it's what the elk are running from. We have a level 9 legendary mountain lion. I am hoping that this thing will actually make diamonds so that we will finally have our first diamond with the new handguns, though after that mule deer, I don't really have too high of hopes that this thing will make it, knowing my luck today, but provided it does, this should be pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and break out the 243. And, I mean, honestly, if we can get close enough, we'll do the Glock, but I think most likely we'll have to resort to using the 243 here. But it would be cool if we could get close enough for the Glock. Well, I'll be. We might actually be able to pull this off with the Glock. He is kind of moving down towards us, though. He did just turn a bit. I think he should start heading back to his zone, which would give us a perfect opportunity to take it down with the Glock, provided he continues coming down here. Though it, it actually might... Might not happen now that I'm looking at it again. Well, we're gonna hope for the best here. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. We are going to have to take this thing with the 243, but that really should not be too big of a problem. Let's zero to 200 meters and honestly, let's just take that shot right there. I think that should be plenty good. Let's see if he starts losing HP. It is looking like he definitely is. Okay, so. It took a bit longer, I'm going to assume it was probably a single lung shot as he didn't die immediately like they would with a double lung or a heart shot. He uh, definitely only got single lung, so that's a little bit unfortunate. It scared me for a second, but it will do the trick. We'll still get full score. If he's a diamond, it should still make it. All right, let's see. Will this be our very first ever diamond with the 243 handgun? I think there's a decent chance that it could be, but uh, we're about to find out. It is a gold because somebody else shot it before us. Are you kidding me? So for those of you that do not know this, if you're in multiplayer like I am right now, and somebody shoots something with the improper ammo or it doesn't die from a poor shot, and then they leave the session, none of their information from their shots will show up for whoever ends up killing it. So because we uh, clearly didn't do that shot, that is what somebody else did. Somebody else shot it from this angle with who knows what caliber. And now that we came through and tried to take it down, we don't even get full score because somebody else shot it with the wrong ammo at some point. That is very unfortunate. That is, that is quite tragic. Rest in pieces to uh, the second attempt at a diamond with one of the new handguns.